Stop the vehicle. Stop the vehicle. Stop the vehicle. Stop. 1033. Stop the vehicle, goddammit. Stop. Stop. Shut fire. Shut fire. New dash cam video showing a Florida deputy opening fire on a car moving towards a deputy, killing two black teens. Their families tonight are demanding answers. Let's get more on this from NBC Sam Brock. In newly released police video, stop the vehicle. Central Florida deputies shout commands to a teenage driver last Friday who appears to stop the car. And then this. Stop the vehicle. Stop. Stop. Brevard County officials releasing dash cam video and confirming the shots were fired as they pursued what they believed was a possible stolen car. The bullets ultimately taking the lives of Angelo A.J. Crooms, 16, and Sincere Pierce, 18, who was riding in the back seat. What's going through your mind right now? And I just feel like my whole life was just taken from me, and I know I can't get it back. Pierce's mother, Cynthia, says her son was riding in a friend's car, not a stolen car. Shocked residents protesting on Wednesday as the sheriff's office says deputies were acting in self-defense, giving repeated verbal commands, seven to be exact, before the teenager accelerates the vehicle towards the deputy, who was then forced to fire his service weapon. Authorities say a third occupant in the car, who was unharmed, confirmed hearing the verbal commands. I don't think that it's implausible to think that they were afraid of the police officer shooting them. We've seen when people do comply, they get shot. When they don't comply, they get shot. Both responding deputies now on paid administrative leave for the length of the investigation. Tonight, heartbreak hanging over a devastated community. But let's get straight to the news about the president's son with Hallie Jackson. Hallie, what do you know? Lester, this is just happening as we're coming on the air. A spokesperson for the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., says he tested positive for the coronavirus at the start of this week. He's been quarantining ever since then as a result. We're told he is asymptomatic, he has no symptoms, and is following all medically recommended COVID guidelines, again, according to his spokesperson. The president's son, of course, made frequent appearances for him on the campaign trail and was at that election night party in the East Room of the White House earlier this month. With his positive positive test. This now brings the total number of people connected to the White House or Trump campaign who have tested positive for the coronavirus to 49, Lester. All of it as the pandemic continues to worsen across the country. Lester. Hallie Jackson with that late word from the White House. Thanks.